That shit happens in two weeks. Immaculate results. But I promise you, in two years, y'all gonna all be just like them people. You remember when BBLs, people was talking about, and they look good. You can go to Dr. Miami. I even took my friend with a Groupon. We had discount. And can you imagine both of y'all laid on a, on, a, on a surgical table with a discount booty job? I don't want nobody to do my booty for, for a discount. I want to pay the whole full length. I would be scared to bring a friend to get our booties done together. Now, you got both our asses just on the table, upside down. We wrapped up like two, damn it, prostituting mummies. Lay there together, dead on the table. You got our asses up like in one of them swing sets, looking at twin asses. And this is how I know. That them Groupon discounts, the same doctor doing y'all both, they're probably doing you at the same fucking time. They go over here, stitch up your ass, and then forgot that they ain't stitched up your friend's ass. And you got to come back and add a few drops to your ass and be like, damn it, did I add the drops to her ass? Or so they forgot whose ass they added the drops to, so they go back and add a few more drops to your ass. And then your ass is bigger than your legs, and your legs can't carry that ass. And your friend come out, botch, her booty look like a seesaw. Like somebody been playing tug of ass cheeks. And that's what's been happening to you. You've been botched, <laughs> benched, and behooved. I wouldn't want a discount on my booty. I got to sit on that. I'm sitting on my ass now. If I had a discount ass job, I'd probably be standing up on this lot. Now, if I had Ozempic shots, I probably wouldn't even be able to stand on this live at all. Because they said Ozempic would cause your legs to go the fuck out. Now, he's probably still got two legs to stand on. But let me tell you, even Rashawn, y'all, in the next three years, going to have a story to tell. That man will be writing me in my inbox like, Darn, you were right. Look at me. Pool neck. Smoke turkey neck. Right out of Nana's pot. <laughs> this shit is unhealthy, people. Don't keep getting it. Not just that, these BBLs, we've seen people losing their lives from this shit, and you still got people like, but not my doctor, he took his time. But that's because your body is a little different than mine. And people will sit up here and say, I'm lying, because they turned out fine. But that doesn't mean that it's going to work for you that way. You don't even know that man's blood type. You could be a negative O, A, B, A, B, C, B, A, O, boa constrictor, right? Because everything that works for other people don't always work for you. That's why I don't believe in giving people my skin regimens. Because my mother is a black woman. She's black and Indian. Her mom's, I mean, her dad's people are all Indian. My mother's mother is black. So what's going on with my skin may not work for your skin. So what I'm putting on my skin may not work for you. You want to know why? We have two different racial patterns, two different DNA. It don't work. Okay. So now I'm telling you how proactive worked for Alicia Keys pimples. And you remember the commercials were proactive. Diddy even had a... And you went to go get proactive. And guess what it did? It gave you more pimples. And you want to know why? Because you don't have Alicia Keys skin. You don't have Alicia Keys mother. You don't even play it. You don't even own a car. So what you got keys for, bitch? You don't need Christian keys. So with that being said, you don't have the key to this proactive to work. Also, when it comes down on dietary. A lot of people are like, I went vegan because my mama don't eat vegan. Well, your mother might have the blood type that says that she can only eat a fruit, vegetable-based diet. You may need protein in your diet. But this comes from knowing your blood type, what type of body you have, how much is sun, sun exposure. It, a lot of people don't know themselves. But you're trying to learn yourself vigorously through somebody else because my daughter told me she had a BBN. I said, well, your daughter also don't have any other health complications. Your daughter is a 22-year-old baby thigh. Now, you are a 47-year-old adult skeezer, okay, and you've had a thyroid issue. So now you're going to lay your booty up on this table to get a BBL, and yours didn't turn out like your daughter. You want to know why? Because daughter didn't have a health complication. You do. You do. And you got your ass booted up to these people so they can just blah, 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 blah. And the whole time, they could have been moving that, 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 that build up on your thyroid. Would you rather have a pile up on your ass? This comes from not knowing your body. That's why I don't believe in fasting, intermediate fasting. I believe in fasting in your season. So even as a person who grew up with Christianity values, I don't just fast because the church is fasting. I am 142 pounds. What do I have to fast? If I, you know what I do fast? I eat fast. 
I even like fast fucking food because Dern cannot afford to lose 10 pounds. Because then you know what people are going to be saying? I think he on Ozempic. I'm going to look like pull meat off my neck. I need my neck to move. I'm just being real. People be fasting. You ain't got no weight to fucking lose. Now, I know fasting is for something you want to do spiritually. But come on now. Even God will have you to eat. Even the Lord will say, get a meal, bitch. I'm just saying, workouts that does not fit your body type. I remember in the 90s, people would go from doing them Richard Simmons, sweating to the oldies, to Billy Blank's Tabo. Because you were confused on how to lose weight. Richard was trying to show you like a cardio, lose weight, dance, almost like we do with Zumba now. When you were working out with Billy Blank's, yes, you can lose weight. But Billy Blank's was trying to do it for heart. Get your monitoring up so you can have your stamina and to tone. So you don't even know the difference of losing weight or toning. You don't even know why you at the gym. People telling you, that's how I got my butt because I was on the elliptical. Well, she already had ass. Now, you didn't have no ass and now you're trying to build ass. That elliptical going to take your ass away because you done walked it down. You need to do a squat, a lunge, something that's going to build that thigh muscle up to create an ass. You don't know these things because we listen to everybody else. This worked for her. This worked for her. But look at her. I'm not asking a Hispanic girl what you put in your hair. I'll tell you what she put in her hair. D-N fucking A. How about that? Asking me what's my weight loss regimen. I didn't lose weight. I just toned up. I just do yoga. Yoga may work for Dern because I'm naturally flexible and limber. So that might be my workout. Your workout may be just running around your neighborhood for two miles. But you don't want to do that because Darren be in air conditioner working out doing yoga because that works for Darren's body. We ain't got the same body. Well, and some of us don't even got the same body parts. And so you're trying to do this boyish ass workout to prove what, baby? You don't need to do that. Watch what you eat. Watch how you eat. What times. I don't eat pork. I don't, eat red, I don't eat red meat and pork because it does nothing for me. I actually don't even like bacon. I know that's so crazy. It's because everyone likes bacon, right? I don't like bacon. I don't like bacon. And if you, and when I order a salad, I'd be very offended when they just naturally decide to put the bacon on my cob salad. I don't, I don't like that. Or even on a garden salad. Because what garden have you ever been to and saw a pig there? I don't ask for a farm salad. That's for God. <laughs> that's just me. I also don't eat dairy, right? You wonder why I don't eat dairy? Because I'm a person with natural allergies. Natural, so it's a lot of, you know, it's cow milk, so it's cow pus. It's a lot of things that stop your breathing or make you more mucusy. It's a lot of stuff already in dairy, right? So a person to get around me and decide, well, I don't want to eat dairy because I'm going to have beautiful skin that glows like Darren. I don't have good skin because I don't eat dairy. I have good skin because, honestly, I was born with it. And you know, and that's why I can't never tell people a skincare regimen because it ain't nothing that I do for it. I drink water, which everyone should do because we're all past that age where we should be telling people we don't drink water. After the age of 25, telling people you don't drink water is not cute. It's not a flex. I can't stand water. I don't drink water. Well, nine out of ten people that drink water probably don't like water. I don't drink water because I like it. No more than I babysit my niece and nephew because I like them. You do it because you need it. You need to be around your family. I drink water because I need water. I do not like water. I do not like water. I like water for two things. To wash my dishes and to wash my ass. That's it. That's what water is for for me, but I drink water by the gallons. I get offended when I go to restaurants that don't have bottles of water because you think that everyone drinks soda. They probably don't want a sweet tag anyway. A tag. Not even a tea, a tag. A T A Y. Someone's name. I don't drink tag. And if I do have a tea, it's a latte. So it's like a chai tea. It's hot. It's something good for you. But I don't go nowhere and drink a McDonald's big cup of. Diabetes that's going to lead me to have to take Ozempic. I don't want a tag. I want a water. Water should be in everyone's regimen. Honestly, your children 
would be better off drinking water as they become young adults if you start them as kids. Do you know why I don't mind drinking water? I never liked water, even as a kid. But my mother used to tell us, let me tell you, let me, let me give you an everyday scenario in my mother's kitchen. This is me coming down steps, or this is me coming up the hallway. <sighs> Mom, I'm so thirsty. All right, drink some water. I'd be like, but I want a Capri Sun where well, you ain't thirsty. Because you don't know thirsty people? Thirsty people would drink water. People in hell right now would die for just a cool glass, just to look at a glass of water, let alone taste it. You ain't thirsty. You ain't thirsty if you can't have a pellet of water. And this is before we even knew what water was and wasn't. Now, here's the thing about certain water people. I only drink spring. I drink bad. Bitch, I drink water. This can be uh, uh, Clear Carter's Valley's water. This can be uh, Ocean Spray Pacific. This can be Deer Park. This can be uh, Disney World Park. Fiji, Fuji, Fubu, Bought to You, Buy You. This can be water out of a water gun. This can be water from my zinc. Long as you got to purify it, I don't just like any old water. This can be water anywhere except one of them cities where y'all have been noticed the water has been a little diluted. No, I don't like that water. I'm careful when I go to water places and I know you've had some water problems. Now I'm like, no, no, I don't drink water here. But I drink water, okay? Because let me tell you one thing I've learned about people. It was a test that was going on on YouTube, but they took a bunch of um, natural valley waters and just poured them in the Fiji bottles. And then, you know, it's a few white women. And it was like, oh, and I love my Fiji. Sitting there drinking the shit out of that natural valley spring water. And the whole time thought that they were drinking Fiji. And just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this is my favorite water. It's the smoothness. It's the texture is rich. Bitch was drinking natural spring. And just let me know that, that it ain't who you are. I mean, it, it ain't what you're wearing. It's who you are. It ain't on me. It's in me. Because anybody, a lot of you go up dressed up every day as a Fiji bottle of water and you ain't nothing but a damn it great value at heart. I've seen a lot of beautiful, beautiful bitches in long flowing clothes, hair and bangs flowing, makeup done right, perfume. Is that white diamonds? Is that a Liz Taylor? You know, smelling and looking the part, but you ain't nothing but a bottle of Nature Valley Spring with a Fiji fucking wrapper on. So you might as well drink what you are, bitch. You are a natural spring. So drink a natural spring. It's okay. <laughs> You are what you eat. Drink that damn great value. You know you fake. Damn our imitation of Fiji. Fuha. Ozempic, if you don't need it, you're going to need it. I did a video the other day about parking in handicapped parks just because you have a handicapped sticker. And some people was chewing my ass up. I don't like that because I do. And I got a handicapped son. That's why my sister. Well, if you don't got your son with you, you need to walk to that fucking Walmart. Handicapped stickers are not VIP parkings. Some of y'all be pulling up to Walmart like y'all own the building. I'm like, okay, look at Mrs. Sam's Club. If you own a group home, or I don't know, you got a family member or friend or you do some type of health care where people are in your your care who so happen to have some delays or some handicap problems, but it's not you. And you decide that you just going to still pull up like you like you the owner of the building because you got a handicap sticker. Let me tell you something about speaking things into existence. Bitch, it happens. It will be you. So when I'm saying stop taking the Ozempic and you don't need, you don't have diabetes, what are we going to do one day when your favorite cousin who may so happen be diagnosed with diabetes or a loved one of yours or a friend, now we having a shortage on Ozempic because there's just been a lot of big backs who wanted Ozempic and you didn't have diabetes. So even something don't happen to you, but it happens to someone who Ozempic could have saved. Now look at you, just looking. That's how I look at shit. I don't want to be that person that speak no shit into it, you know, existence about my life. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. 
parking and handicaps, and nothing. Let's not even stop here. Walmart, Target, them little, them little baskets, them little hoover round baskets. If your legs ain't retaining water, you ain't pregnant with somebody's son or daughter, bitch, you out of order. You should not be in those lower. That's not because you tired and you had a long day. Man, welcome to America, bitch. We all tired. And the sun is on hell as we talk. So we all beat down from the heat. You, welcome to a day in everybody. Like, we all tired. You don't deserve a free ride. I've seen people get out of them electrical scooters at Walmart, climb to the top shelf and get a box of oatmeal down, climb all the way back down and get back in the electrical scooter. I said, what in the fizz and I eat? How? Not only that, let's go a bit further. You people in TSA. Now, I know that people look at it like this is a life hack. Yeah, I got through TSA because I got somebody to wheel me through there. But you know, it's people who really, it's over a thousand people at, in, in, at the airport when you are there. And I'm pretty sure at least a good whopping 100 of them need that wheelchair, but they can't get it. You want to know why? Because Keisha in the game was trying to just move to the front of the line without weight. So you want somebody to wheel you through, right? One day, that's going to be your destination. I'm telling you, it's going to be your fate. Be careful what you ask for, because you just might get, I, I don't never want to, I get them to wheel me on through. That's not a flex. That's not a come up. It is a beauty to have my own legs so that I can walk through TSA. Because the people who can't walk through TSA, so I take advantage of them. You know, let me tell you how, how, how anal I am about health. I am, because I, my grandmother used to tell me, darn, don't walk around.